Good afternoon, everyone. How you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now, today, I am in a cemetery in Welsh Pool in Wales. I can't even pronounce it. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I'll get it wrong. And I'm here to see <laughs> and find the final resting place of Gary Holton. Now, you may remember him. He played Wayne in Of Weeders Ain Pet, and he was a singer in a rock band as well. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about that very soon. Uh, usual thing today, we have beautiful, beautiful... This is the name of the uh, place, and you can see and understand, I hope, why I did not try to pronounce that. Meg Wastad, which probably sounds completely wrong, and I'm sorry if I've offended any person out there that understands the Welsh language. It's a very difficult language to understand for an English guy like me who comes from probably one of the most southern areas of England. Um, yeah, so there we go. And um, we're here today to find out about Gary Holton, of course, and I'll tell you all about him real soon. Now, don't forget, if you like the video today, please give it a thumbs up. There's beautiful scenery here. Um, and, of course, if you want to leave your comments, if you ever met Gary, if you ever... Um, had anything to do with him at all or if you were just a fan then please leave your comments down below and if you like the video thumbs up and subscribe and all that sort of stuff and i'll carry on now and tell you a little bit more about gary gary frederick holton 22nd of september 1953 to the 25th of october 1985 was a british singer songwriter musician and actor from london gary holton was born in clapham south london the first child of ernie and joan holton Whilst musically talented and a member of a rock band as a schoolboy at Beaufoy School, School Lambeth, his real ambition was to act. Early on in his life, Holton began working in the theatre world with the Sadler's Wells Opera Company, debuting in opera appearances aged 11 and was with them for three years. Soon after leaving education at Westminster School, he joined the Old Vic Theatre Company and from there he went on to work with the Royal Shakespeare Company at Stratford. At 17, he joined the touring Company of Hare and remained with them for two years. When he left the company, his musical talents led him to front the rock band Heavy Metal Kids as vocalist. Holton made his screen acting debut in 1979 when he played the character of Eddie Hairstyle in the television movie. The knowledge with Michael Alphick and Kim Tailforth, Holton did not receive much credit for this role, nor for his role as an uncredited actor in the film Quadrophenia, released the same year. However, after appearing in the television series Shoestring, Holton played the lead part of Ken in the 1979 film Bloody Kids. In 1980, he played the character of Keith in an episode of the television series Play for Today and as a minor character in the film Breaking Glass. Holton also sang the theme tune to 1980s British til children's drama Murphy's Mob, which was produced by Central Television. Playing the part of Wayne Winston Norris in the popular comedy drama of Weeders Ain Pet, Holton played a Cockney carpenter nicknamed London by Oz. The character Norris liked his women, music and drink, which was similar to his off-screen personality. He landed the part, the first of the seven main characters to be cast after he was introduced to Ian Lafrenes at a party. Lafrenes and his writing partner, Dick Clement, had been drafting storylines and working on an idea given to them by Frank Rodham who was the director of Quadrophenia. The first series of A Weed Pet ran between 1983 and 1984. In February 1985, filming began on the second series. The final episode of the second series, broadcast after Holton's death, was dedicated to his memory. Sadly, Gary Holton died shortly before we finished production of A Weed Pet, so the cast and crew would like to dedicate this last episode to the memory of Gary and Wayne. The show was revived in 2002 with the original writers and all of the surviving cast members. The gap in the lineup left by Holton was filled by Wyman Wayne's illegitimate son, played by Noel Clark. While acting on Of Weed as Ain Pet, Holton had only two other roles. He appeared in the TV series Minder, in which he played villain Barry in 1984. He also briefly appeared in the first television series Bowman the following year. He also appeared in an episode of Shoestring filmed in Bristol. Holton was offered the role of villain Nasty Nick Cotton in the television soap opera EastEnders, but he turned down the role and it was given instead to Holton's friend, John Altman, who bore a strong resemblance to him and would go on to succeed him as the lead singer of the Heavy Metal Kids. His musical endeavours were confined to strict one-offs for a while. In December 1978, Holton stood in for the damned vocalist 
Day Vanian on a short Scottish tour. And he also recorded a solo single which became a number one hit in Norway, a punk country version of Kenny Rogers' Ruby Don't Take Your Love to Town with the boys keyboardist Casino Steel, with whom he would later write a simply titled A Weirdest Ain't Pet about his experiences in the show. Holton and Steele recorded three albums together, all of them doing well in Norway, but even the opportunity to replace the late Bon Scott in ACDC could not lure him back to full-time rock and roll. From 1979, he was married to model Donna Campbell. They were amicably separated from 1981 and remained friends, though they were still not divorced at the time of his death. After Donna, Holton had a relationship with model Suzanne Harrison, who gave birth to his son Red in 1983. At the time of his death, Holton had long separated from Harrison and was engaged to hairdresser Janet McLuhan. Holton was found dead by his fiancée McLuhan in his bed on the 25th of October 1985. He had died from an overdose of alcohol and morphine, with traces of diazepam and cannabis in his system. Holton had considerable debts and two bankruptcy orders totalling £61,000 over him. These debts were partly due to his not paying tax since 1979 and also having a mortgage of 48500 on his flat in Maida Vale, London. He died midway through the second series of All We Ain't Pet but the producers used body doubles and editing of dialogue already recorded to allow the series to be completed. So there's all the information there about Gary Holton. What a, I mean, what a sad ending to such a young life. Um, and he had so much going for him, he really did. Um, but he was cremated at Golders Green and his ashes are interred, buried here where the headstone is. So we're going to have a look for his final resting place. Now I've been having a good look around and I think I found it. Here we are. Now the sun's quite bright, so I'm not sure what you can see there because I can only see so much on my screen, but I'll read it to you anyway. In cherished memory of Edward Hayton, a loving husband and dear dad, who passed away 28th of December, 1970, aged 72 years, love and peace. Joined by his beloved wife, Frances Winifred, who passed away 1st of August, 1971, aged 72 years. At last, the three C's mum. Also their grandson, Gary Frederick Holton, who passed away 25th of October, 1985, aged 33 years, a star in heaven. So there we have the final resting place of Gary Holton, taken way too young, um, his ashes are interred, of course, with his grandparents now, so at least he's close to his family back in Wales. And um, I've got to say, it's such a shame that he... I always liked him on All Widow's Ain't Pet. I always thought he was funny, charismatic, um, and it's a shame that he didn't continue and have the career that he so rightly deserved in, whether it was music or acting. But thank you, Gary. Bless you. You're an absolute star, and... Uh, it's been an honour to come and see your final resting place. Now, of course, Gary's not the only cast member that I've been to see from all Voida's Zane Pet. Of course, we went to see Pat Roach, Bomber, um, in the Midlands, I think he was, if memory serves me well, last year. Um, you know, so uh, I know there was quite a few fans of the show, of Voida's Zane Pet, that got in contact with me um, and asked me to come and see Gary as well after that one. So uh, made the long trip to Wales. It is a long trip, but it was worth it, you know, um, because I, I liked him in All We Design Pet. I liked All We Design Pet. Um, and it's definitely worth coming to see Gary's final resting place. 
Now, I've just been, spe- just been speaking to a lovely couple there, and they said that this church is now private property. <laughs> um, but you can come through here, apparently. So, But I don't think you can obviously go into the church, because that's someone's house, I think. Let's have a look. But we're, we're going to investigate, shall we? We're here, we're in Wales, and it's a beautiful place. And it's rude not to come and investigate. Oh my God, you should see some of the vehicles here. I'll show them to you, hold on. So this is like part of the extended cemetery, I should imagine. But wow, look at these vehicles. Got your Kawasaki quad bike there. I'm assuming a Vespa, I don't know. Don't really know too much about it, but wow, look at this. When you see an absolute classic like this for sale, and you can open the door, oh, wow. It's rude not to. Wow. Look at that. If anyone wants to buy me that, there's a number on there, you can call it. And then this one, another Saab. I don't know if this one's for sale. It's a right-hand side one. Column change there, instead of the old manual, um, instead of the gear stick down there. Wow. Let's just have a little look around anyway. Christchurch, Welsh Pool open. Mmm, we like an invite, don't we? Let's have a look. Let's go and be nosy, shall we? Doors are open. Wow, yeah, it's open. <laughs> People talking. Wow. Excuse me. Do you, do you mind me filming a little bit in here of, of this, of the church structure? Is that okay? I'm, I'm not interrupting in... No, no, it's okay. I just like, I just like old churches and things like that, so I'm just... <laughs> thank you. Wow, this is beautiful. And then in here, we've got some uh, information here. Thomas Pinton. which I'm assuming is the architect. Not that I know anything about architecture. Right. If you like books, look at that for a book collection. <laughs> wow. It's cool. And then you got the, uh, try not to get people in there. Got a high ceiling up there. There we go. And then that's the part around there. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, cheers, thank you. And then up here. Um, right there, and then another beautiful stained glass. At the end. No, you're okay, you're okay, I, I won't film you. <laughs> I'm just filming the... Uh, cool model of Christchurch, wow. Thank you very much. Cheers. visitor's book, we have to.
Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye. There we go. Just left a little comment in the um, the visitors book there. Say so it was a beautiful place. And uh, let me, oh man, I've just got to show you this in a minute. But um, Look at that, beautiful. Yeah, so that's it from Welsh Paul, uh, Gary Holton, of course, um, legend, good actor. Um, shame he's no longer here with us. And that's it for me today. Thank you very much all for watching. I will turn the camera around before I go and show you the church. I'll put it in beforehand and I'll see you all on the next one. Take it easy. <laughs>